hello great youtubers welcome back in this lesson we'll be looking at orientation and disabling properties in interscader let's get started before we do kindly subscribe and also press on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever i upload new video okay we will first look at uh, how to do the orientation or how to apply orientation properties to object in interscader to do this illustration i need to draw a bar so i have this bar so basically what's the orientation property is basically moving an object in a certain direction and it's based on a given data that is coming in for now for our illustration purpose we'll be using one of these analog sliders so i'll copy the parts of this slider and then i will double click to open the properties of this particular object and we can see that we've already looked at the visibility blink today we will now look at orientation and then this okay so first is orientation i click on it okay so we can see that on the interface the orientation is being controlled by analog values so this analog value is what we are picking from this particular slider so the expression will take that particular tag so i place the tag there and then we have the properties under the properties we have to give range of the data that you use for the control for now we have 0 to 100 so i specify 0 here and then 100 at this point and then we have the rotation how do you want to rotate 360 do you want to rotate 180 90 or 45 you can specify for now we want to go 360 for the demonstration purpose and i will set this at zero okay and then we have at this particular point that is the center of rotation basically where you want the pivot to be you want it to rotate x0 y0 axis or you want it to offset the axis you need to specify for now we will leave it at zero zero and then i click on okay all right so i move to runtime and then we observe what happens immediately last i'm moving i move complete 360 and you can see that the movement is happening at the center of the particular object okay so let's go back and look at when we want to offset so for now to prove that it's really rotating at the center i'll draw a line at the exact center point it has to be two line okay so i have this line drawn there i go back to and then i rotate again and we can see that the rotation is happening right at the center because the x and y center value was zero zero okay so i go back and then this time i want to offset it so i go to the orientation again and then change the x point to let's say 30 and let's see how the offset is going to be okay and you can see that this point is moving away from the center so you can specify the pivot point where you want the rotation to be all right so with this understanding let's have a look and then apply to our conveyor so i delete this okay so let's say we want to put a barrier here so that when the bottle is getting closer that barrier opens for the bottle to pass okay so to do this with the illustration that we just watched on the orientation I'll draw a bar here okay send it to top a bit all right and then the idea is this now when the bottom moves to from the top to this point it's 40 percent of the data or the analog signal that we are using and then from here up to this side is the 60 percent so roughly around 70 i want it to start opening okay so we can do that i double click on this and then move to orientation okay so the data that will cause the opening is going to be our slider that is the analog signal coming from the slider so if you look at the property that sorry the tag is level three so i double click on this to go and then i move to the miscellaneous orientation and then i have to specify the the expression which is three and then i look at the data we are thinking about start opening at 70 and then our maximum point of opening will be but let me reduce this a bit let's say 60 for experimental purpose 
and then the opening we want it to open 90 degrees so we specify here to be 90 if you want it to go 180 you can specify 360 it will come back to close position again so which will not work for this application all right so i click on ok and then ok again then we go to runtime to observe what happens okay so currently the bottle is at the top conveyor i start moving it it comes down gets to this point okay the sensor sees it and then it moves whilst it's getting close the beam is opening perfect okay so we can see that our alignment and then the positions are not that right but we've been able to achieve something let me move this bar up a bit okay and then the distance we i think we need to change it because it was too close so i go back and then let's say we'll do it somewhere around 50 okay okay again go to runtime okay so we are in runtime now we start moving perfect so something of this sort good so these are some of the application there are other things that you can do with it in actual fact in interscada your creativity is your limit so you can try this practice your hand on it good the next thing is that we can see that it's opening from right towards left let's say if we want it to open to open towards right we can also do that so i come back here i go to orientation again and then i have to change this parameter so instead of here being a hundred is going to be 50 so here will be our 50 and then our hundred will be at the top and then the rotation to we need to change it here is going to be zero and then here 90 okay so i click on save save again go to runtime and then we observe okay perfect good so in this case we are opening and then you can see how it opened and then we can come back and then close again okay so this is a quick illustration we move to the next item that is going to be the how to disable items so i delete this quickly okay so disabling help us to makes some of our devices inactive at a certain conditions the example is let's say for instance if i want to make this button inactive so that you cannot switch from this page to another page when a certain action happens, i can do that so let's say for instance if i turn this switch on it should prevent me from moving from this page to any other page so but first let's look at the switch tag a switch two so i copy it quickly and then I double click to go to the property window. Okay, so under the same miscellaneous, we can see that we have the disable tab. So I click on it, and now it's requesting for the expression or the condition for the disabling. Okay, so under the expression, I have to put the tag that is going to do the disabling, and then the disable state. I want to see the on state. That's when I disable. Okay, good. I click on OK and then okay again then we move into runtime okay so we can see that in this state the button is active i can switch sorry i can switch to the sub and then i switch back to the main page if i turn the switch we can see that this section is inactive now i cannot press to switch so basically this is the importance of disabling okay i switch back and then i can now switch to the sub okay good so basically this is how the disabling work but it does not work on all objects some objects let's say for instance if i click on this sensor okay so in the disabling property the same assignment the switch and then on state and then i click on ok and then ok again so you'll be expecting that because it has been disabled it shouldn't blink whenever the bottle gets to position but let's test it and see whether it's true or not okay so i turn it on position the conveyor starts let me move and then you can see that the blinking is happening so we can see that the disable does not work on all objects okay all right but let's see whether we can apply the disable disable property to this particular object so we right click and then it's from the symbol factory so we need to break cell okay so we need to break cell and then we apply the properties to this so we have disable I click on it specify the switch okay okay again 
and then we go online okay and then we go to the runtime and then you can see that the the switch is off and then i can move the slider but when i turn the switch on i can no longer move the slider okay good kindly try your hands on this we will meet in the next section thank you for watching bye bye